Good morning students. Myself Dr. Ragasuda, Head Department of Microbiology Government City College, Hyderabad is here to talk on ultrastructure of new bacteria. Bacteria constitute a wide variety group of microorganisms that exhibit a fascinating diversity in morphology, habitat, nutrition, metabolism and reproduction. Although they are not very complex morphologically, the tiny bacteria nevertheless have highly complex physiological, biochemical, cytological and genetical characteristics making them a valuable tool for understanding the various intricates of life. Due to their extreme simplicity in structure, small size favoring rapid cell division, highly resistant nature and diversified mode of nutrition, bacteria are of universal occurrence. They are present in our mouth and flourishes in intestine. They are present in air we breathe and in food we eat. They abundantly occur in fresh and salt water, soil, water and even in ice. Their most favorable habitat is soil where they occur in abundance mainly in the upper half feet. In a handful of garden soil, the bacteria population may outnumber the human population on the earth. They live in all conditions not fatal to living beings and are among the most numerous of all living beings present in almost every conceivable environment. Some bacteria are deadly parasites of plants, animals and human beings. Some live as mutualists with plants or as commensals in elementary canals of animals. Some bacteria may remain viable when cold up to minus 190 degrees centigrade while others may remain viable when boiling up to 78 degrees centigrade. Bacteria are unicellular prokaryotic organisms. The bacterial cell have a simpler internal structure. It lacks all membrane bound cell organelles such as mitochondria, lysosomes, Golgi apparatus, endoplasmic reticulum, chloroplast, peroxisome, glyoxysome and true vacuola. Bacteria also lack true membrane bound nucleus and nucleolus. The bacterial nucleus is known as nucleoid. A typical bacterial cell have following structures. Structure outside cell wall are capsule, flagella, pile, sheet, prosecca and stalks. Structure inside cell wall, cell wall is followed by cytoplasmic membrane, nucleoids, mesosomes, ribosomes, cytoplasm and spore. Capsule, capsule is 0.2 micrometers thickness viscous layer, outer layer to the cell membrane, cell wall. The capsule is 98% water and 2% polysaccharide or glycoprotein or polypeptide or made up of both. There are two types of capsules, macro capsule and micro capsule. Macro capsule thickness is about 0.2 micrometers or more visible under light microscope. While micro capsule thickness is less than 0.2 micrometers and visible under only electron microscope. Capsule is very delicate structure. It can be removed by vigorous washing. Capsule is most important virulence factor of bacteria. Mostly virulent type of bacteria bears these capsules. The function of capsule, it helps in attachment as well as it prevents the cell from desiccation and drying. Capsule resists phagocytosis by white blood cells. The next part is flagella. It is 15 to 20 nanometers hair like helical structure emerging from the cell wall. The flagella is not straight but is helical. It is composed of flagellin protein, a type of globular protein and known as H antigen. Flagella has three parts, basal body, hook and filament. It helps in motility of the bacteria. Pili and or fimbriae. Pili are hollow filamentous and non-helical structures. They are numerous and shorter than flagella. Pili is the characteristic feature of gram-negative bacteria. It is composed of pilin protein, 
Bacteria containing pili are Shigella, Proteus, Neisseria, Gonorrhea, E. coli, etc. The function of pili is attachment. Pili helps the bacteria to attach to the host cell surface. Most of the human pathogens of respiratory tract, urinary tract are attached with the help of the pili. Pili, also known as Fimbriae, possess antigenic property. The specialized function is some pili are modified for specialized functions like sex pili or F pili helps in transfer of DNA from donor to recipient cell during conjugation. F pili also acts as a receptor for bacteriophages or virus like bacteria. These are different types of uh, flagella borne by different types of microorganisms. A terminal polar and flagella, single flagella is known as monotrichus. A tuft of flagella at one end is known as leukotrichus. Flagella all over the structure of the bacterium is known as peritrichus and on either end it is known as amphitrichus. Moving on to the next structure, sheet. Some bacteria forming chains or trichome are enclosed by a hollow tube like structure known as sheath. Aquatic bacteria mostly form sheath. Some sheathed bacteria are spirotilus, leptothrix, clonothrix, etc. The function is to provide a mechanical support. Sometimes sheath is impregnated with ferric or manganese hydroxide which provides strength to the sheath. Here is a uh, bacteria forming a sheath, a picture of a bacteria with a sheath. The next structure is prostheca. These are semi-rigid extensions of cell wall and cell membrane. One bacteria may contain one or more prosthecae. Some prosthecae develop buds at the tip and uh, hence help in reproduction. Some prosthecae producing bacteria are colibacter, stella, prosthecobacter, hypomicrobium, etc. The function is to increase surface area for nutrition absorption. It is usually formed in bacteria living in very dilute environment where concentration of nutrition is low. It helps in adhesion, asexual reproduction by budding. The next structure is stalk. It is non-living ribbon-like tubular structure. It is formed by the excretory product of bacteria. Some stalk bacteria are Gallionella, Plantomyces, etc. It helps in attachment to the solid surface. In the picture, we can see the polar flagellum. Then uh, we can see two stalks which helps in hold fasting. Then peritrichus uh, flagella, etc. The next structure, moving on to the internal structures of the bacteria, cell wall. It is an important structure of a bacteria. It gives the shape, gives shape to the organism. On the basis of cell wall composition, bacteria are classified into two major groups, namely gram-positive bacteria and gram-negative bacteria. Gram-positive cell wall is co uh, consists of peptidoglycans, lipids, and tachoic acid. While gram-negative bacteria is composed of peptidoglycans, outer membrane lipids, proteins and lipopolysaccharides. Peptidoglycons, it consists of glycon backbone formed by repeated units of NAG and NAM. NAG full form is N-acetyl glucosamine, NAM stands for N-acetyl muramic acid and the glycon backbone is cross-linked by the peptide bonds. Peptidoglycon layer is present in cell wall of both gram positive and gram negative bacteria. However, gram positive have thick layer of peptidoglycan. Tachoic acid is a water soluble polymer of glycerol or ribitol phosphate present in gram positive bacteria. So, tachoic acid is present in gram positive bacteria only. It consists about 50% of dry weight of the cell wall, it is a major surface antigen of gram positive bacteria. Outer membrane is an additional layer present in only gram-negative bacteria. It is absent in gram-positive bacteria. It is composed of lipid bilayer, protein and lipopolysaccharides. 
what are these lipopolysaccharides lipopolysaccharides are a composition of lipid a and polysaccharides lipid a is phosphorylated glycosamine disaccharide it is a, it is antigenic in nature polysaccharides consists of core polysaccharides and o polysaccharides picture of gram negative bacteria and gram positive bacterial cell walls gram negative bacteria we can see the cell wall is made up of outer membrane followed by lipoproteins a thin layer of uh, peptidoglycans followed by periplasmic spaces then cytoplasmic membrane embedded with the proteins gram negative bacteria outer membrane bears lipopolysaccharides gram positive bacteria there is no outer membrane we can see it, it begins with peptido thick peptidoglycan layer followed by a cytoplasmic membrane embedded with proteins The next structure is cell membrane. It is the inner layer that lies inside the cell wall and encloses the cytoplasm. It is also known as cytoplasmic membrane or plasma membrane. It is about 80 nanometers thick. The cell membrane of bacteria is composed of phospholipids and proteins. The function of cell membrane is selective permeability as it allows to pass selective substances such as sugars, amino acids across it into the cell. Structure of the cell membrane. You can see it is uh, separating the the cell outside and inside. Outside the cell, we can see carbohydrate chains, proteins, etc. And to inside of the cell, we can see the cytoplasm, and uh, it consists of a protein channels uh, through which uh, selectively molecules like. Uh, sugars and all are passed through this protein channels and it is made up of lipid bilayers the cell membrane is made up of lipid bilayers moving on to the next structure nucleus it is the most important part of the cell it controls and directs all the cellular activities and stores hereditary information of the cell bacterial nucleus is known as nucleoid it lacks nuclear membrane nucleoplasm and nucleolus Bacterial DNA is naked. It does not have any histone proteins. The function of the nucleus is to store the hereditary information of the cell and control all cell activities. The next important internal organelles of bacteria are ribosomes. Bacterial ribosome is of 70S type. Ribosomes are rounded granules found freely floating in the cytoplasm. Ribosomes are known as unicellular cell organelles because it is found in both the prokaryotic and eukaryotic cells. Chemically, the ribosomes are made up of nucleic acids, particularly RNA and proteins. It functions in protein synthesis. The next structure is mesosome. It is a spherical or round sac like structure found commonly in the gram positive bacteria. Its function is it acts as a site for respiration in bacterial cells. Here are the structure of a pro your, uh, prokaryotic ribosome, which is of 70S type, consists of 50S subunit and uh, 30S subunit. On the other side, we can see a mesosome. Thank you.